The pretty mid Wales town of Flendrindob Wells was the setting for the fifth and penultimate stage of the Ovo Energy Women's Tour. Despite the threat of even more rain, it seemed as though most of the town's children had turned out to see a tiring peloton roll out from the lakeside start line. It's definitely been a tough race, I think, for the whole peloton. You can tell that everyone's uh, definitely feeling the first four days, but I think that's where the opportunities will come now, the next two days. They're both really tough stages here in Wales, but we're looking forward to it and um, the motivation's high, so yeah, we're looking forward to getting out there. I think today is going to be one of those days that are a little bit unpredictable because there are, okay, two categorized climb, but it's climbing all the, all the time, so um, yeah, you need always to be focused and to be up there. It was even under hazy sunshine that the pack rolled out around the lake, through the streets and into the mountainous terrain surrounding the town for what was to be the Queen stage, with more than 2,000 metres of climbing over 140 kilometres. With bonus seconds always important, the first intermediate sprint was hotly contested and having begun the day only nine seconds down, it was Amy Peters who won the three seconds in Bigaldi. Only then was a break allowed to form with Movistar's French road champion Oda Bianique escaping the peloton. She was soon joined by four more, with Erika Magnaldi, Asia Paladin, Lauren Kitchen and former world champion Amelia Diederichsen joining her on the front. On the first classified climb though, the steep slopes proved too much for Kitchen and she was dropped, and it was then left for Magnaldi to take maximum points on the windswept first category ascent. Wearing the Queen of the Mountains jersey she had held since day one, behind, Christine Mejera sprinted from the pack to consolidate her lead in the competition, though the Bulls Dolman's rider was chased hard. Onto the final and fearsome 9% slopes of the climb to Ipint, where the action was predicted to happen. 2016 champion Lizzie Dignan attacked hard, and it was only her Trek Segafredo teammate, Elisa Longo Borghini, and stage four winner Cassia Neviadoma, who were able to follow. The three riders crested the climb at the head of the race and they never looked back over the ensuing 20 kilometers, surviving to the finish at the Royal Welsh Showground. Longo Borghini led her teammate into the final corner, but Neviadoma forced Dignan out wide, but the British rider opened her sprint early and was too powerful for her rival, opening a gap and winning the sprint for the line, bringing wild celebrations and plenty of emotion. I just kept on looking over at Elisa and she kept on looking back at me and I, we had an instinct and that's developing, you know, we're still new to racing with each other, but I always knew we'd have fun racing together and it's kind of developing and growing and uh, it was just one look and I went and she came and Cassia could follow. It was super hard, I mean everyone was there fighting for victory, fighting for those precious seconds so I'm really happy that I managed to, to get second even though I was still hoping or dreaming about winning the race. Yeah, I got in the breakaway and I kind of hoped we could stay till the top of the second big climb. Um, we got caught in the middle of it and yeah, I didn't really have it to to, to stay with the group, um, but I'm, yeah, I'm happy that I tried and yeah, it's a bonus to be the competitive rider of the day. Elisa Longo Borghini finished third, while the first rider across the line from the chasing group was Sunweb's Leah Kirschman, with Amy Peters finishing a notable sixth. Dignan now leads the general classification going into the final day, though only by one second on Nivia Doma, and young Dutch rider Demi Following has moved up to fourth overall.